everybody, I'm Necromaster Sill. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a monster chase you in RPG Maker XP. It, you can use it in VX, I believe. I'm not for certain because I don't have VX to test it, but whatever. Okay. First, we have to make our monster event, uh, which was this guy. We named him Monster, and we set the event to Event Touch. This is going to be how, when he catches you, he kills you. Okay. And we also need an event that makes this event work. So we're going to use a chest, and you can just leave it blank. So, I mean, for right now, not this. You're going to have to fill this in, but I meant, yeah, whatever. Okay, first we're going to go on our monster, set it to event touch, and then our event commands, we are going to add a conditional branch. Right here, you're going to click switch, you're going to set it to on, and you're going to pick out the, which switch you want. Uh, I made a switch called monster. When this switch goes off, that means that's the point when he's going to chase you. So that means when it's off, he won't do anything and he won't be able to kill you if you touch him. And it just makes it easier between cutscenes and puzzles and whatnot. Okay. After we put this to on, we're going to also put when it is on for the option when it's on. Uh, we are going to put in the command for game over. And that's all you're going to have to do for this guy. Apply it and press OK. Now, for this event, this is the event that's going to make him come after you, so when you click on it, we need to put in control switch. And we're going to set it to monster and on, so when you click on this chest, the switch will come on and he will immediately come after you. So if you want to, it to wait, you're going to have to do some work beforehand, but yeah. Okay, now we're going to turn the monster on and we need to set the move route. This is the part that's going to make him actually come after you. We need to go to the second tab, set move route, and we're going to set it on monster. That's why I named it the event. It's a lot easier than guessing which one. And we are going to click on the option move toward player and set it to repeat action. Uh, you probably will want to change the speed and the frequency to make it come after you faster if you want or slower. So there's that op those options too, but I'm not going to do that because it's not a big room anyway. Okay. So now when uh, the player clicks on this, uh, it will set the monster after him. Uh, send the monster after you. It'll turn the switch on and make it able to kill you if it, you touch it. All of that. And now it should work, so we're going to test this. Okay, right now, see, he's not doing anything. You can go talk to him, touch him, nothing will happen. So, now we need to go to the chest to send him after us. Yep, there he goes. This is what should happen. If you do it correctly, I'm going to let him get me, so. Yep, there you go. If you use this in the sound effect, it makes it slower on my computer. I don't know if it'll do the same to yours, but I don't use that. So, But it should be faster on yours if your computer's better than mine. But yeah, that is how you make a monster come after you. I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, if you have questions, just ask me. Okay, bye.